G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to be looking at converting between decimals into fractions. Okay, so uh, with this we're going to be looking, uh, there's a couple of tricks with this, and we're going to be looking at some uh, decimals which are a little bit more difficult than others. So we're going to start out with the easy ones. These are uh, ones which are terminator ones, things like 0.5 or say 0.75, where they don't just keep going on and on, they only maybe go to one, two, three, four decimal places and then they stop. The other ones we're going to be looking at are recurring decimals, uh, and these are ones, say, like 0.1 recurring here, that is like 0 0.1111111, where it just keeps going on and on and on and on and on. And we're going to look at how to change these also into fractions. So we'll look at these. Uh, we'll look at these after these particular ones here. So let's let's do these ones first. So say we had say something like this, you might already think, hey, I know that this actually is as a fraction, and that's probably a good thing if you do. But I'll show you how you go about converting these. Now, first off, the easiest way of doing these is pretty much you get 75 here. And these are these are actually funnily enough known as decimals, but they're also known as decimal fractions. And what this means is they are fractions of basically the next number up divisible by zero. I'll give you an example here, 75, the next number up as a, as a, as a, that's a zero number is 100. So this is 75 out of 100. Okay, and then we can go through and see what number goes into both the top and the bottom. So a number that goes into both the top and the bottom here is 25. 25 goes into 75 three times, and it goes into the bottom number here, 100, four times. So 0.75 is the same as three quarters. So they're fairly easy, these ones. I'll give you one more example of these. I'll give you a harder example, one that you might not know off the top of your head. Uh, say we had to change this one here, uh, 0 0.1875, and we wanted to change this into a fraction. Okay, so again, this is a decimal fraction that we actually have here, and look, we can actually, if we really wanted to be... Um, really really save a lot of time and effort I guess we could sit there and say well this as a fraction is I'll make that line a bit neater this as a fraction not much neater is 1875 by the next zero number up which is 10,000 okay we could say okay that's that's our fraction there we could leave it there but let's simplify this so we could we, we could look at a number that goes into both of these uh, I think a number which you might recognise it goes into both because this is a 75 here, would be 25. 25, if you do a quick conversion here and quick, quick bit of uh, division, this goes into uh, 1875. 25 goes in 75 times, and into 10,000 it goes 400 times. Then we can convert this further, we can, we can simplify this further because 25 also goes into both of these numbers to go into 75 three times, but I'll do this different colour, three times, and it goes into 416 times. Now, we can't do, get simplify this any further, so this is our answer, 3 over 16, okay? So, there we go. That's how we go about uh, converting just these terminating type decimals, and they're, they're, they're fairly easy, but let's get into the next one. These are also actually quite easy, it's just knowing the trick on how to do them. So let's have a look at how you go about converting recurring decimals. Now, what about I give you an example here. Say we wanted to change this one here, 0 0.7. If it had the dot there, and so it would keep going on and on, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, okay? And so on and so forth. So let's change this. I'll show you how to change this into a fraction. Now, first off, there's just a couple little algebraic things here which are kind of handy. They're not really heavy core, uh, heavy duty algebra. But first off, let's get this uh, 0 0.777777 here. We're going to get that to equal x, okay? Now, there's a little trick we do here. Now, if we have a look here, we basically want to get a decimal place between. This is the first part of the trick here. We want to get a decimal place between um, these two particular um, recurring numbers here. So the way we can do this is if we multiply both sides by 10, because this would become 7.77 da 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 on and on and on and on and on and on and on, and this would equal 10x. Okay, do you see that? Okay, so we're going to call this one up here 
equation one and this one here, equation two. You still with me? I hope so. So what we're going to do now, and this is the master trick, is we're going to subtract equation one from equation two. And if we do this, we get this as follows. 10x take away x is 9x. And 7.7777 so on, so on, so on, so on, take away 0.7777 is 7. Okay, do you see how that worked? That's pretty cool, right? Because what you might realize now is we can do, we can basically divide, but we can get x by itself by dividing both sides by 9. And if we do this, what we get is as follows. We basically get x here um, on this side by itself because we divided 9 and got rid of the 9 here and we've got this 7 here and we've divided by 9 and we have changed it into a fraction, right? Uh, x equals 7 over 9, 7 ninths. That's not bad, eh? That's it's actually not too bad. So what about I'll give you another example of these. Alright, now, um, so say we do 1, what about we have 0 0.2424242424 two four, two four, two four, two four, two four, so 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 da 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 and that goes on and on and on so you're going to see here we're going to end up getting the decimal place between these guys the first part of our recurring numbers here okay so let's make this again equal x and this time to get the decimal place between our recurring numbers here we're going to be after 24.2424 Da, 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 da. And to do that, we have to multiply this expression here by, not 10 this time, by 100. Okay, because the decimal place jumps two times. So we end up with 100x. Okay, we'll call this one here equation 1. We'll call this one here equation 2. So, we'll take equation 1 away from equation 2. 100x take away x is 99x equals and equation this part this side here this one take away this one we're going to basically uh get this one all by itself we're going to get this get rid of this 24242424 and we're going to be stuck with the number 24 okay so this is what we're up to so far um we divide both sides now as you see by 99 so x by itself 99x divided by 99 is x and this one becomes 24 over 99 and that's our answer okay so how did you go with that pretty good um hopefully that was that was not too bad for you um anyway i hope you uh, understood both of those methods and um we'll see you next time okay bye